Okay, so today we're going to be unboxing this touchscreen bread maker from Lakeland. And then we're going to make a basic loaf of bread. So the bread maker came really well packaged, as you can see. It was actually a little bit hard to get out of the box, but it was in really good condition once I did get it out. Compared to some bread makers, this one's fairly thin as well, which I like. On the front, you can see the menu with all the different options. And I really want to try making the jam and also the yogurt as well. This bread maker has a viewing window on the top and then on the inside, it just had all the attachments there as well. On the side of the bread maker, you can see all the vents as well. And then here you can see there's a really good size for the bread bin. And it's got space for two kneading blades, which would be really good when it's making the dough. I really like the shape as well. I think it'll make a really good shaped loaf. So once it's plugged on, all you need to do is touch that green little on button. Then you can choose your option and for the bread you can choose how well you want the crust cooked as well, which is cool. And you also get a instruction booklet which has lots of recipes in there, which is super useful as well. These are the kneaded blades as well and they came well packaged and then there's also a hook, a measurement scoop and a measurement cup as well. So I just decided I would try out their basic white loaf and I followed their instructions as well. The only difference is I don't have any milk powder so I just added milk instead, which is what I usually do when I use my own recipe. The front of this is so shiny that you can literally just see me in the reflection. And it was quite simple just to turn on and select the option I needed and put the bread pan back in. I wanted to see what the bread maker would do just on the basic option but there is an option to knead the bread and then bake the bread separately. I found that the bread maker did a good job of mixing all the ingredients together and kneading them as well. And that can sometimes depend on the humidity. So it is a good idea just to check your dough. I like that it was really easy just to put in together and low mess as well this was the loaf once it was done and it was really hot here so you definitely have a cooling rack and use your oven mitts there as well it had a nice color on the top and i also really like the shape of the loaf as well it was difficult to get the loaf out of the pan and in future I would do the knead separately to the bake as well. From this you can see the kneading blades are still in the bread and it was quite difficult actually to get them out once the bread is cooked. Um, once I did get them out, there was a big hole left in the dough as well. But if you don't mind that, then it was really convenient just to throw everything in and leave it to run. I think if you're in the house anyway, it's much nicer just to take the blades out. And then you also get to shape the bread as well. I also really like to score the top of the breads and it gives you the option to add extras like your nuts as well. It 
in my opinion i thought that the loaf cut really well and it also had a really good crumb taste wise i did find it was a little bit more salty compared to how i normally make bread but i think that's just taste preference there as well found that it had cooked quite evenly which was good as well so I did decide to have a look at the slice in the middle just to see what it was like with the hole in it as well Honest, I think if you're at home and you're just using the bread for like your sandwiches or a slice of toast then the hole didn't bother me and it still made really good toast as well. I think if I was taking the bread around to a friend's or for a family something like that then I wouldn't really want the hole to be there. Now most bread makers, if you leave the kneading blades in there, will have that hole there as well. So it's not just this bread maker, but I do like that it has the option to separate the kneading and the rising from the baking as well. So you do have that option to take the kneading blades out. And I think if I was around and in the house as well, which I would be really, and not too busy then I would do that as well. I really like a lot of bread products that are one need only as well so I like that you can make up a batch of dough and freeze it and then use it for things like naan breads as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video and new videos will be out every week please consider subscribing. Bye!